Hi everyone, welcome to this reading. I have a crystal ball off to my side, so I will be scoring throughout this message. If you're new to my channel, my readings are a little different, and if you're returning, welcome back. You know how we do. If it doesn't resonate for you, or you're forcing the story to fit, or arguing with it in any way, just leave it behind for the people who it's meant for. So let's go ahead, let's step aside. Allowing spirit to pass through me. And opening up to receive information. Okay. Mm, that's weird. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, I just had like, it's like an owl spirit that is coming through. So this is for somebody who has been experiencing owls recently. Owl spirits coming through. Um, okay. Okay. I guess we're not using the cards. Okay. So um, this owl spirit is so showing me something about threads. And uh, these threads are interwoven and they're interconnected and we're having a hard time untangling this tapestry of sorts. We don't really understand how to make heads or tails of the direction that we're going in. We're kind of just at the mercy of following these threads at this time. And this owl spirit is kind of trying to get you to step back and understand what the entire tapestry is about rather than focusing on the threads. And so, um, for example, if you're experiencing deities and ancestors and all these things you're trying to figure out what the deity means you're trying to figure out what ancestor this is you're trying to unravel little bits and pieces and it wants you to take a step back and look at the whole tapestry and understand something first when we take a step back and we look at the whole tapestry we're going to see a story um, this story is going to be something that this owl spirit is telling me is a little unbelievable uh you don't have to believe right just take note of it it's telling me to explain the the uh importance of taking note of things rather than trusting things, right? Uh, I've talked about that before in a slightly different way. Uh, but when we when we get into the idea of how do I trust myself? How do I trust this? How do I trust, you know, what I'm seeing? We put so much seriousness on it. So uh, it wants you to take a step back. It just keeps showing me take a step back, take a step back, take a step back and observe. That's what owls do. They observe. Um, they don't necessarily want you to categorize, label, understand everything, take a step back and observe. That's a message that's been coming out for the collective quite a lot lately, and I imagine it will continue, right? That's human nature's want to define things. And, um, but it's trying to stress the importance to whoever this message is for, whoever has been experiencing this owl spirit. Um, I'm seeing a white owl, by the way, uh, but it's trying to express this, the importance of taking a step back, seeing the entire story and observing, observing your experiences, not um, labeling them as true or false or valid or invalid or, um, Im you know, labeling their importance or categorizing them or giving them a name or saying, oh, this is what I read about being this. You know what I mean? It wants you to take a step back and just give it some breathing room, give it some space. Because the thing that we first identify it as, how it first appears is very often not how it actually is, right? There's more to the story. There's more to the story. Um, and so these little threads that you're trying to unravel, the more you focus on these little threads and figuring out what they are, the less you're going to understand the story at large. So that's the message from this owl, okay? It was three, three, three as I just looked at the clock. Let's see. Okay, um, so we will get to this right here. So when we talk about um, the lotus, the lotus is really what conceals the dream, right? Uh, if you're familiar with Eastern religions, you'll know what I mean. And the point of our spiritual journey is to peel back layers of those lotus. We have the layer of self, we have the layer of ego, we have the layer of, um, you know, all the little layers that we develop throughout our lives from childhood on. And once you unpeel those layers, you, do, you find your passion, you find what you're really passionate about. This seems to be a quest for someone to figure out their purpose, right? What they're supposed to do. Your purpose is always going to be your passion. So um, that's why this is so important. This is why it's so important to step back and allow the layers to peel back, allow the story to unfold the way that it is, uh, rather than getting so immersed in it and immersed in each little thread that you can't see the big picture when the big picture comes into view. The threads are still being woven is kind of how that's being put to me and so if we're unraveling them we're actually undoing the work that's being done uh there is this energy of the seriousness and this need to identify uh really keeping us trapped and i'm saying that because i'm i'm seeing this as the threads here and when we're on that spider web and we get too close to it we get trapped in the spider web right we're too close we're too close we're too emotionally close um, one of the beauties of spiritual reality is that 
all the labels, all the categories, all the things we want to identify as, they serve no purpose. They serve no purpose. They mean nothing, right? They mean nothing. The more you think you can label and categorize and uh, label yourself as and understand, the less you actually understand because you've pigeonholed yourself and you've pigeonholed yourself here and you've pigeonholed this. And if you can leave that the breathing space, you can allow the picture to unfold because the picture, I guarantee you, is much bigger than you think that it is. Um, you are much more than you think that you are. <laughs> uh, whoever this reading is for, uh, you are, you've been wondering, what is it that I'm supposed to do with all this? What is it that I'm supposed to do all, with all this? And so this is your confirmation. This is the message from this owl spirit to take a step back, stop worrying about what you're supposed to do with all of it, and allow that space to come to you, right? If you not not that you know you're automatically going to do what it is that you're supposed to do you're going to find that passion that passion is going to be revealed to you and then you take the action to do it um that's what they're trying to make happen but we're getting lost a little bit and confused a little bit and stuck because confusion is an energy of being stuck so you know just just know that what you were supposed to do is already out there right it's already out there uh get in alignment stop worrying stop being so hyper focused allow the spiritual experiences to happen allow the tapestry to be woven <laughs> if you will allow the st story to be uh continued on and know that when you have peeled back enough layers of the self and gotten in touch with yourself especially that solar plexus energy um and that comes from working with that inner child self-love right uh once you do enough of that your passion will be revealed to you um, more like you will reveal your passion to yourself. All those layers will be peeled back. All those lies that we believed will be peeled back. All the negative limiting beliefs will be peeled back. We can't understand our true passion when we have those negative limiting beliefs because those beliefs are so powerful. Um, the idea of you can't is so strong that we aren't even able to see the sun. It's like clouds covering the sun, right? So we can't see the true God that sits within us. We have to peel back those layers and that takes time. So allow, allow this process to happen and don't get too serious and don't get too caught up in trying to figure it out because there is no figuring it out right it's something that unfolds and then it's there Yeah, this is something that you seem to be reaching for. Um, again, when I see this medallion, a medallion really represents something that's lucky, uh, something that brings you uh, all the things that you desire, your heart's desire, right? It's like this uh, very special charm that you carry with you. Um, that is what your solar plexus essentially is, um, that identity, right? I am. This is something that we're reaching for. We're still in the dark. A little bit we're still in the dark for me what the darkness represents are the false ideas that still have to be peeled away uh, false ideas typically are the things that we think that we know that don't have any merit right they don't actually have merit we know them because someone said it we know them because it was written in a book somewhere we know it because um you know it's something external insert external blank when in reality the whole point is to go within uh to consult ourselves to reach for that gold ourselves and to understand what that is these are layers that have to be peeled back uh, a lot of these layers are not things that we actively adopted a lot of these layers are things that were kind of pushed on us by other people by society uh, by our uh, adopted beliefs of how people are supposed to live in 2024 <laughs> you know how you're supposed to go to work and what kind of work you're supposed to have and uh, what kind of people you're supposed to surround yourself with whatever it is right um, there's something here that we are reaching for and it requires that the further we reach the more layers be left behind us this is a stripping away of a false identity, which is what all of us as adults have. We have a false identity, a false sense of self. You know, I'm a banker. I'm, I'm a, uh, you know, I hear it a lot. I'm a guitar player. And like people identify with it so much that they're like, no, I am a guitar player. Well, if you lose both your arms, then what are you? You know, do you suddenly stop existing? No, you're something more than that. Um, there is this, there is this, twisty road <laughs> of navigating back towards the center of the self and that's why you have this owl spirit with you at this time it's because it's about ultimate wisdom ultimate wisdom comes from within this owl spirit may be trying to get you to take a step back right obviously take a step back that's what it was saying so i'm saying obviously to take a step back and to really just observe um, not to categorize label identify 
again. So this is a short message, but this is for somebody. It's about, you know, hey, remember, don't get too, don't get too deep into the humanness of it, right? Let it be what it is. Let it have its space. Let it breathe. Observe. If you allow it to observe, the picture will come together. It will take time, but it will. Focus on yourself. Focus on releasing these layers and these false ideas and these false beliefs about ourselves. Um, even the positive ones, right? Sometimes we can pigeonhole ourselves into positive categories and then their effects are negative because we never grow beyond that. So um, that's what this L spirit seems to be bringing forward is to practice wisdom. Don't worry about knowledge, practice wisdom. Those are two different things. So uh, whoever this is for, if this resonates for you, please hit that like button. Feel free to comment and until next time.